Hello, it is day five. And I am Antique Alicia with AntiqueAlicia.com and your own university. I'm a self-care lover. And today I have to say I'm getting ready to leave. Um, and this week has been another monumental week. It is June 1st, so I'm ready to start over. And what is coming up to share today within me is, really it comes from my book too. The premise of the book I wrote years ago, From Bondage to Happiness, is really about our perception and how we perceive life and how we choose to navigate through it. And for me, this year has been you know, beautiful things. I've gotten to do some things that I never thought that I'd get to do, that the world gifted me and people gifted me. I'm really calling it some amazing experiences. And at the same time, um, those amazing experiences have been counterbalanced by uh, some real hell. In places that could have easily taken me down. Um, yesterday, if you haven't seen me on the um, what is it called? Ah, the real world woman. Haha, <laughs> I had to figure out which space they are. The real world woman, sex, love, or sex, food, and money. Um, it was a great podcast what that Alexandra and I did and I highly recommend listening to it I actually listened to it myself and I was like wow but it is a lot about how we perceive things and everything that we attract into our life is a form to end the cycles like I was talking about yesterday and and is either from our conscious mind and our intention and us putting our intention towards what we desire or from our unconscious mind repeating patterns from the past. And how we usually deal with them really depends on how we choose to perceive these things that come up in our life. Maybe it's a negative pattern, maybe it's a positive pattern, but how do we choose to react and and receive that. And one thing that I notice from my clients, from my my own personal experience, is when things are coming up that we don't like, we tend to fight it or push it down. Or when things come up that we're not comfortable with, we tend to push it down. Even really great feelings like I was saying yesterday. So how do we go about changing our perception? and choosing something more powerful or choosing what we want and rewriting history being the history that we're creating today. So today I'm going to talk to you about that. How do I do it? There is a process and it starts with acceptance. So accepting what is, accepting the high of um, meeting an ideal client and or um, getting a brand new car or buying your first house or going on the epic vacation or falling in love, right? Accepting that high and not grasping it to try to keep it or make it mean that it's gonna feel the same tomorrow or the next day. That's step one. And I'm gonna phase this in the positive because I think that there's a lot of information out there when it comes to dealing with negative emotions and changing how you perceive them but the rules are really the same so step one is accepting what is and where you are right now step two is allowing that to be really diving deep into it and feel it and sometimes this is really challenging because we do what I call meaning making 
where we create meaning around what it means. So say you're in love, right? You're in love and you're having this euphoric feeling and it feels mag mag just amazing. And so you make it mean something, you overthink it. You make it mean that it's gonna feel the same tomorrow or you make it mean that if it doesn't feel the same tomorrow, something is wrong or something is broken. So I um, just sit with whatever I'm feeling, good or bad, and I allow it to be. The next thing is ask for what you want and what you desire. And what you want and what you desire might not be what you expect or might not be part of the old pattern. And that's a really great thing because it means that you're changing your your perception, you're, you're changing your mind, you're changing how you relate to the world in that moment. The one thing that I did yesterday, yesterday I got some, um, some challenging health news and what I needed really shocked me when I said, okay, what do I really need? I, I journaled, I did my thing and then what I really needed was my mom. And I, I hadn't asked for this woman or allowed this woman when I was really little, when this cycle in my life began, probably around the age four, I felt, to, to nurture me, to hold me. I didn't trust her at that time. And uh, yesterday uh, was a big day. I told my best friend and um, her wonderful husband goodbye. And... Um, they're moving and my mom came and she was gonna go home to her place and I asked her to spend the night I asked her to just hold me and I allowed myself to be in the place of my four-year-old just receiving her and it felt kind of weird because quite frankly my mother's a tiny tiny woman and uh, and I was shocked at how my perception of myself was really, really tiny. And I, I asked, I asked my soul, like, how old are you? And I was four, and I'm like, Mom, I'm about four right now. Let's redo this pattern. And she held me, and I don't think she slept at all, but I, I slept great, and, and I woke up with this renewed sense of peace, and and it's okay and support and love that my body and my mind and my circumstances has been trying to get me to accept that I pushed away that I meanie maked around you know 20 30 oh my gosh ah, 36 years ago right so you can do the same thing by actively doing something different or actively doing something that you needed at the time when the cycle began. And I know from personal experience and I know from watching you know, hundreds of clients walk through this that when you break that cycle you create new pathways in your mind, new responses from your nervous system in your body, and literally your life starts to manifest a different way and you call in these different experiences into your life and the same old, same old doesn't repeat anymore. Because you allowed yourself in that moment to act differently and you chose the perception that you needed or required or desired. So how do you react to something? Steps, one more time and then we'll close it off, is you accept what is in the moment. Two, you allow yourself to be there and not meanie make around it. So not future tense making planning and not past tense making planning and then three you choose what you need and desire and you can ask like I asked myself I go what do I really want right now and it was shocking that I'd wanted my mom to just hug me it was shocking to me and my mom's response was you never let me do this 
And so it was a really beautiful, touching evening. And I know that my own relationship with my own daughters is going to transform and shift because that repatterning is gonna open up a whole new perception for me to mother on a deeper, more connected, more nurturing manner. So you get to choose your perception. You get to choose how you relate to life and how you relate to life is gonna bring you the life that you desire, heal the past and reprogram you for the future that you desire. If you would like to get more self-help tips, I have a wonderful 12 day challenge, a lot more information and I love I love working with groups as well as my private clients who really are ready to step into your full power in your life. Um, stop, many of my clients work in corporate America and corporate Australia, <laughs> oddly enough, and they, um, they're kind of lost in corporate or they're lost in their families. They've lost themselves someplace. So if you're ready to find yourself and take back your life, not necessarily change what you're doing, but really embrace yourself with what you have going on and make it all work for you instead of against you, then look me up, antiquealicia.com, and we'll work together and let's get you back on your divine path. Talk to you soon.